Where is your support concentrated in Malmo? Uh, I would say it's concentrated in areas that are uh, border, uh, it, it, that are on the border on uh, with immigration areas. So when immigrants and Swedes uh, see that an area is g g becoming a ghetto and they see it from another area, yeah. like Almborg, yeah, yeah, yeah. that's a such area that is bordering Rustenburg. So they see the uh, process in Rustenburg and they start voting for us because they understand that, you know, if, if we have too much immigration, that's the result. There's a lot of crime, there's a lot of social problem, and nobody's doing anything about it. So you got the prosperous mama for some people, and you got a mama where uh, everything is going uh, in a bad direction. What do the mainstream parties, when you say that more immigration prevents assimilation, what do they say to that? They, they believe that more immigration is good for the country's economy. But and what do you say to that? All uh, research shows that it is not true. If we, if we believe that unemployment is a cost, it, then uh, you can see that a lot of immigrants that come to Sweden are unemployed. And uh, they come here from countries where there isn't, uh, a lot of uh, times there isn't uh, a good education system in those countries. And Sweden has a labor market where you have to have a specific education. Uh, and when you come from countries and you don't have an education, then, uh, you know, it's not an investment in the country. So, and, you know, it's not nice to think uh, so about yeah, yeah, people, yeah. but you have to think about the economy because Sweden is a welfare state and we are dependent on having a good economy all the time. Anti -racist. Yes, I'm anti-racist, and there are a lot of Sweden Democrats that are anti-racist. We have a Facebook group, uh, Sweden Democrats that are anti-racist. So, uh, we are uh, against racism, and uh, but, but you know there is anti-racism in Sweden that uh, works like an alibi for the left. And you know they say they say capitalism is racist, and a lot of th things is racism uh, that is not racist. But what is racism is when you discriminate people. We were at the Sonic synagogue and I found some reportage on the internet saying horrible harassment, you know. Yeah. So the Jewish community is now down to 500 after being 2,000. I mean, that's very unpleasant. Yeah, and, I mean, that's unpleasant, but I mean, it gets, it gets more unpleasant when you see how we got politicians in this city who say anti-Semitic statements and uh, how politicians in this city are not doing, doing anything about it. The only party who is talking about anti-Semitism is the Sweden Democrats. And, you know, it's strange because Sweden is a tolerant country, but when it comes to the Jews, we're, Sweden is not so tolerant anymore. We don't got Nazis going around in Mama streets. That's not where anti-Semitism in Mama is coming from. It's coming from an arg you know, because we have the Israel-Palestine conflict, and we have a lot of people here who sympathize, like uh, with the Palestinians. And uh, during uh, the latest uh, conflict in Gaza, you know, we had like a lot of. Uh, Jews getting threatened, so we see, you, you could see the connection there. Yeah. And the Social Democrats or the left party or no party will recognize that this is about uh, a minority in Sweden who uh, is attacking the Jews. Do people understand the difference between being criticizing immigration and criticizing immigrants? Because no. That, 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 that's, uh, that's so painful, you know, going every day and people telling me, oh, you're against immigrants. No, you know, I tell them, we talk about the immigration policy, that's not being against immigrants. And you know, people tell me crazy stuff. I was out uh, campaigning and people told me, oh, why are you with these Sweden Democrats? Uh, they hate you. And you know, I said, I, I said to them, like, do, do, do you see, look at us. Does it seem that they hate me or that we hate each other or that we hate anybody? 
Uh, and, uh, uh, you know, I think uh, it's partly media's fault that we have this, this distortion that when people think that the immigrants at the, and the immigration policy is the same thing. And what where we are now in Sweden, it is at a point where people think that anything but the generous immigration policy or liberal immigration policy is racist. Do you get through to any of your p opponents with intellectually, or do they refuse to debate with you? Do they always say, we're not going to no, talk to not, you? Not publicly. In public, they don't uh, agree with us. But you know, when you talk with some uh, from the moderate party, uh, and uh, yeah, from the liberal party, folk party, uh, you know, you can talk with them and they understand. But there is a pressure on them. Uh, because if, you know, you can see in Swedish media, if one uh, member of folk, from folk party says that, oh, that idea from the Swedish Democrats was good, that, that, pe that person, they will interview him, they will ask hard questions and say, why do you think so? And, you know, hang him out like, like some racist. So nobody can agree with us publicly. It's very hard. And then when you uh, walk around the area which you represent, Fusia, you've also had some problems. People throw yeah. shoes at you and stuff like that. Yeah, I, I have been assaulted two times. And uh, one time I was just uh, walking with my girlfriend and suddenly somebody throws a shoe, shoe at us and just misses her. And you know, I, I asked them, why were you throwing shoes? And then they said, oh, we will throw you down from here. You know, we were just upside the tunnel. So it will throw you down if, if you don't leave. And I said, well, just, are you going to do it? You know, or, you know, I, I told them this is my country too. I can be here. This is a public place. A couple of days ago, I'm walking in this, uh, you know, I'm walking, going home. And uh, I see that somebody's throwing a, a, a package of juice on you. Like, and they miss. So I see that there's some youths, and I go and talk to you know, why did you throw that? And, and they say, oh, you're a Sweden Democrat, and you're a racist, and you, you, you're like uh, betraying your own people. I, said, I told them, what people? Uh, and they said, the immigrants. I said, you know, the immigrants are not one people. And I try to explain for them, and they, try, they, they throw cigarettes and, at me. And, I, you know, I understand that I can't explain this to them. Yeah. As there are a lot of these uh, youth immigrants who get a distorted picture from the media that we are racist. And it's hard to explain for them when the media just every day is telling the same thing. And the school system too, maybe. Oh yes, in the school system, in the school curriculum, there is a, a multiculturalism is in the curriculum. So uh, there are some teachers that uh, interpret that that the Sweden Democrats are racist because yeah. we criticize multiculturalism. Uh, and uh, therefore, some teachers, you know, do stuff uh, and say stuff that uh, that affects the children. So they think that we are racist. This article I read said that Fustan has exchanged for utbildning, that is, people are told what to think to be good people and to have the right views rather than think critically about history and, and social science. A, par uh, yeah. a part of that is good. Uh, in Sweden, we got, we got something called Värdegrund, and, yeah. and the, the purpose with that is to reproduce some of the values we have in Sweden. But what has happened is that the left uses this Värdegrund to reproduce its own political values. Yeah, right. And uh, I think that's the part uh, that people criticize, uh, that school, the, the school shouldn't reproduce political values, no. it should reproduce cultural values. Right, right, right. Do you, what, what do you say to the statement, uh, 
anti-fascism is the new fascism? Because you could, <laughs> well, you understand what I'm saying. Uh, yes, you know, fascism, uh, for me, you know, what I have read about fascism is, is when, you know, the might, uh, when uh, violence defeats uh, democracy. And we, when we got anti-fascists who go in the street and don't care about how many votes the Sweden Democrats have and just uh, hit them and harass them, that's fascist. So anti-fascist is the new fascist. How do uh, politicians from other parties treat you? You see that they're frustrated and they uh, think that some of our opinions are right, but they can't say it. So, of course, uh, lots of them are old people who have seen their country change overnight. You know, because of the immigration, the, you know, the areas have changed rapidly. So they, see, they, they understand what we're saying. Do they cooperate um, across the blocks? to avoid having to cooperate yes, with you. Yes, yes. And what kind of compromise do they get then? Uh, yeah, you see, they try to put us out of the committees by making them smaller. Right. That's one of the things they have done in Malmo. So if you have a, if you have a committee that, that are nine members, they make it seven members, so we don't get in. Uh, and when we ask them, why do you do that? Uh, no, we have an agreement, and that's how we want to do it. There is no like real explanation. In, in the districts we have uh, citizen dialogue groups where, where politicians and citizens converse and we're not welcome in those groups. Mm -hmm. So we are the only party that are not welcome in the citizen dialogue groups. There are politicians from all parties and when we ask them what, what's the reason for that, we are the third biggest party in Malmo. We have like uh, citizens who want to talk with us and they say no, you're not a democratic Party, yeah. Do you think that the Sweden treats its uh, national party more badly than happens in Denmark, or the UK, and Belgium, for instance? Yes, I think Sweden is the country that uh, you know uh, the, the treatment we're getting is the worst. Uh, I think in the, in the entire Europe. You just have to be very careful when you're a Sweden Democrat. You can't do any mistakes. So. Uh, People in our party who are normal people and do mistakes sometimes, they can't show their face anywhere and uh, if they have a company, uh, their company goes bankrupt because the media writes about them so much negative stuff that uh, no, they, they don't have any customers anymore. So, and you know, the thing is, other people from other parties also do mistakes, but when we do mistakes, it becomes a national event. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Everybody talks about yeah, it, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And all, all papers are writing about that every day. And you know, in that way, you lose a lot of friends in the Sweden Democrats. It has a lot to do with Swedish history. Sweden, uh, Sweden was a peasant country in the 19th century, uh, and uh, there was a collective mind among Swedes, and uh, that collective mind it it continued in Folkemet. And it has never really grown away. So when Swedes, when they decide uh, that something is as it is, it's hard to change their mind. And the, the individual has uh, a hard uh, time like uh, going against the collective in Sweden. And that's not something bad, actually, but sometimes... It exactly. could be good or bad. I mean, it's, yeah. it, it, I mean it's, often it's good, I suppose. Often it's good. It's often sweet, it's good. honest, hardworking, and it creates a momentum for changes, doesn't it? Yes, yes. And people stick together, yeah. but sometimes when it comes to the attitude against the Sweden Democrat, it, it becomes some kind of weapon to yeah. silence people.